Hi guys, this is Pankaj Dubey and in this session we are going to talk about CSS selector, how to create your own CSS selector, what is class and how to identify IDs and how to customize your CSS selector path for all the dynamic, uh, ch dynamically changing attributes. So to start with, I'll, I have opened yahoo.com and I'll just click on the firebug and we will inspect some elements and we'll see the pattern of identifying CSS selector and how to how does firebug creates a css selector so let's start with it i click on the inspect element button now and i'll just hold a mouse over some of the web elements and uh, you have to identify it you have to just monitor the pattern of how firebug is creating css selector path here in this box so you can see that some of some values are being uh, like created with the dot it starts with a dot and some of them are being start with uh, started with the hash okay so you can see here it starts with a dot and this starts with the hash okay starting with the class starting with the hash so what i'll do i'll just click on any of the uh, web element and here you can see that it's a node div and it has an attribute called class and the class value is this so how it ma it's making how firebug is making this css selector path is by putting a dot at the start of this uh, path and after that it puts the value and it puts a separate it puts an extra dot here so why css selector does it because the value has a space and css selector treats it at each space between the class name as a separate class so to concatenate and to add the separate class name it does this activity by adding one more dot here in the CSS selector path. So I'll just make a note of here, a note of it here on Notepad. So all the class names will be identified with a <coughs> sorry with a dot symbol. So let's move to any other attribute and we'll see the pattern of that. So the other is starting with hash. Okay, so how, why it starts in, uh, starting with hash and why the other one was starting with dot? Because here the value is, uh, uh, is an ID. Okay, so all the IDs will be identified with the hash. So here you can see the ID value is this YUI starting with and it goes somewhere ending at 453 and the id the attribute name is id so whenever you'll find any attribute as an id so it will be prefixing the value with a hash and css selector will treat it as a as an id okay so all the ids will be identified with this symbol This fine. Okay, now let's move uh, back to the container. And here, what it does is it creates a CSS path of this container. And now, what we have to do is we have to move on the child node of this particular element. So, it's a container, and there are multiple elements inside this. So, what we have to do is in case suppose that the if a child element you did not find any uh, CSS selector path or you are not able to create the CSS path for that elements and inside that container. So what you, have, you will have to do is you have to find the CSS path for its parent element and now you will have to move on to the child element and to move on the child element you will have to use this symbol. So put this symbol after the CSS path created for the parent element and now put the tag name of that child element on which you want to go so what i'll do i'll put the divs div and as you can see here there are four divs so it will select all these four divs once i'll hit enter so let's see yeah it selects all of them so what you have to do is in case you have to select any one of them like first one second one third one or last one so for that thing there is a function if you have to select if you want to select the first one there is a function called first child so after the tag name you had to put this uh, 
semicolon and then write first hyphen child and hit enter. So what does it do? It selects the first element of the parent class, right? And now there is another function called last child. What it will do? It will select the last element inside that class container. That's what it does. So it selects the last element. But what if you have to select second, third or any element between the first and last? In that case, there is a function called nth child and in parenthesis you will have to pass the position of the child element node. So here in case uh, we, are, we, are, we have to go on second, let us suppose. So it is just that you have to put the number second and hit enter. It is like the second child element of this class. So that is how you can move in the uh, DOM tree below in the child classes. Okay. Now let us see a syntax how CSS selectors are made. So if you have seen uh, or if you are already aware of XPath syntax, then I am telling you to, uh, to, to let you guys know the common similarities between uh, the XPath syntax and CSS syntax. So you must be, you must have seen that how to create an XPath. It's just that you have to put two forward slashes, one star, and in square bracket you have to put add the symbol to identify any attribute. Attribute is nothing but as we have seen in CSS paths, the class names, the IDs are these are the attributes, and to identify attribute you have to put the value in single quote. So this was the syntax to create XPath and to create CSS syntax, uh, to create CSS path, the syntax is very similar to this. It is just that you do not have to put the forward slash and uh, asterisk. You have to start it with the square bracket and there is no attribute to identify attribute. You have to put the attribute name like if you are going to put ID then plus ID, if you are going to put class then class. If there is any other attribute, any other attribute means what? If you want to put suppose this attribute, data hyphen this is this and its value is this, then you can put this as well. Put this and equals to and in single quotes its value and it will identify that CSS path and it will select the element. So let us see how it does. So for example, I am going to select this only. I have copied it and I will put it here in a square bracket. Replace the double quote with a single quote. Hit enter. So what does it do? It selects that one matching element. It selects that one node. So that is how it works. So I will do this for, we can do it for anything like we can do it for this ID. So that is the second way of recognizing ID here. Another way was to prefix the ID value with a hash. Replace the double code. Hit enter. Hit enter. And it selects that value. Now there are some other methods of uh, to handle dynamically changing attributes and the functions are starts with and to use the starts with we have to use this symbol. There is another method called ends with and to use ends with we have to use the dollar symbol and one more is there which is contains and to use the contains we have to use asterisk. Okay, now see let us see that how to use these methods here. To use this method like uh, I am going to use starts with first. So to use the starts with what we have to do is we have to put this symbol just after the attribute name. So the attribute name is id. So I will put this symbol just after the id and now suppose actually this function is to recognize the starting with element starting with value. So what we are supposing here is that applet is the fixed value which is the starting value and everything else changes with every page event or with every page load. So uh, what I will do, I will just remove these values because applet is the only constant value inside the id attribute. Okay, And now I have put it the starts with function symbol here, I will hit enter. 
what does it do it selects 15 matching node that means you cannot select it you cannot work on it until unless it gives you only one matching node so to handle this situation I'll, what I'll do I'll add one more attribute of this node so I'll pick any one of them for example I'm taking this and I'll put this into the square bracket replace the double quotes with a single quote and hit enter Invalid. what's the reason okay yeah so it gives you one matching node that means now you can work on it so this is how you can concatenate as many attributes as you need to handle the dynamically changing attributes and dynamic CSS path okay so this function was to create uh, to recognize or to use the starts with function now what I'll do we'll use ends with function and to use the ends with function we have to put the dollar symbol just after the attribute name and here you can see that the whole value is applied and starting with the numeric value so here suppose what's happening that ends with value which is the ending value is fixed and everything else is changing with every page load and with every page event so what I'll do I'll keep this ends with value here because I have I'm using ends with function here so I'll use this ends with I'll let it be here and remove everything else okay so I'm just going to remove it and hit enter now what it does it selects that particular element where we are intended to work on that's right that, so that means we have understood how starts with function symbol works and how ends with uh, symbol works now we have to use the contains to use contains we have to put the asterisk symbol just after the attribute name and now what we are supposing is that t underscore p underscore 5 is constant from this value and every starting value and ending value is changing with every page load and with every page event so I'm going to replace it with t hyphen p and hyphen 5 now hit enter and it does it works so that means you can create and you can handle the dynamically changing attributes you can move on the child node you can select the desired child node position and uh, you can identify or you can recognize the id and uh, classes and that's it from the css selector point of view and that's how you can create your own css selector path css path and you can handle the dynamically changing attributes and uh, you can handle almost every situation in case if you do not find any help like CSS selector CSS path has a limitation that you can move only forward in the DOM tree and you cannot go backward backward means uh, you cannot move back to your parent and uh, you cannot move back to any preceding sibling so in that case you will have to use X path and there are some functions in X path that I have uh, covered in expert tutorial of this prelec.com video so sh please share this if you like the video and hit like button as well thank you very much